think the biggest challenge in this whole cancer care field is the fact that there are so many options, but a very limited amount of time. I think that's it's so new, people don't know much about it, so I'm here to educate from a patient's perspective of what immunotherapy can actually do for, um, hopefully, any patients nowadays. I am living proof that knowledge and self-advocacy truly are powerful. For more than 60 years, the Cancer Research Institute has been at the forefront of innovating treatments. And immunotherapy is a game changer. And we now have the proof of principle that your immune system can be mobilized as a treatment for cancer. The Cancer Research Institute Immunotherapy Patient Summit offers a full day of educational and supportive programming. We brought together hundreds of cancer patients, advocates, caregivers, and medical professionals all to discuss immunotherapy and how patients can become empowered and become strong self-advocates. Only three to six percent of eligible cancer patients ever participate in a clinical trial. And as you've heard today, clinical trials can be a really important way to access these incredible new treatments. There are treatments out there that can help, that are in trial, and that can save your life just like it saved mine. We are exploiting all of the basic science knowledge that has been gained over the past 30 or 40 years to understand what turns the immune system on, what turns it off, and how can we tweak that to get the immune system to recognize cancer. There's targeted monoclonal antibodies, there's tumor vaccines, there's engineered T cell therapies, and then there's checkpoint inhibitors. And ultimately, I think the future lies in combining these different therapies. You know, the immune system is very um, integral to take care of, you know, a common cold, you know, tuberculosis once you get vaccinated. So, I mean, why, why not? Cancer's big, you know, the cold isn't, but at the same time, it's still the same process. We owe any success that we have right now to organizations like CRI that supported basic science research over many decades, and we owe it to the courageous patients who participated in the early clinical trials of those medicines which are now FDA approved and available to us. There is never a good time to be diagnosed with cancer, but right now may be the best time for a shot at living with cancer.